Okay, so now the first thing we want to do is uh, draw the game board inside the window. So to do that, let's scroll down to the window procedure and it should be near the bottom here. Okay, here's our window procedure. And now in order to draw anything inside the window, we need to handle the WM paint uh, message, which is already done for us here. So as you can see, we have the device context handle given back to us by the begin paint uh, API call. So here you can add your co uh, code to draw anything. So let's just for, you know, starter, let's draw a rectangle. Use the rectangle API. As you can see, it takes an HDC, the device context of the window to draw on, and the dimensions, location and dimension of the rectangle so it goes from the left top to the right button so let's say zero zero hundred for the width the hundred for the height and so the rectangle is gonna go from zero to a hundred and to compile and run there's multiple ways the one I like which is control F5 to quickly you get prompted here to build it yes hit yes this will quickly compile and run. As you can see now, we have a small rectangle with a black uh, border here. It's It starts from, as you can see, from the top left zero zero of the window, goes to 100 pixels left, you know, to the right, sorry, and 100 pixels to the bottom. So now what we wanna do is actually, we wanna m try to draw this in the middle, inside the, the middle of our window. So to do that, we need to figure out the width and height of the window. So there's a there's two Windows APIs, of course. There's one that gives you the size of the window, including the title bar and the menu bar. It's called Get Window Rect. That one we don't want to use. What we want to use is the one that gives us the client area, which is the client area of the window is the area where you can basically draw inside inside it. So this client area starts from the top left zero zero goes all the way down to the width and height of the window so get client rect will give us that information so let's see how we can utilize that close the app go back to the here so let's go say get client rect api it needs an h wind we already have one and it needs a pointer to a rectangular st structure so let's say address of our RC and here we can define rect RC it's a structure that has four members that we'll look at them in a minute so the one thing I want to mention here is that this API returns a boolean so it may it might fail which is in rare cases but anyways this is like a, as, a, as a good programming practice I'd like to do this only if it succeeds then we want to actually draw our game board so now let's do this so like I said, the API call gives us back the rectangle, rectangular structure of the window, which is an RC structure, which has four members, top left, right bottom. In our case of a client rect, top left will always be zero, zero, but let's see how we can use this information. So now let's calculate the width of our window by doing rc.right minus rc.left you don't have to do this minus rc.left but like I said it's just a, a good practice to do it anyways height equals rc.bottom minus rc.top of course this would be only useful if you use the get window rect right because that will give you screen coordinates of the window in our case it's gonna be always the right is actually the width the bottom is the height but anyways like I said this is okay so now we want to see given that we want to draw a game board that has uh, uh, three by three cells which is like kind of like a matrix a three by three matrix so what I want to do is define a constant here called cell size and we give it like let's say that each cell is a hundred uh, pixels in size so given that let's see how we can center a board that can contain uh, a three by three matrix 
So let's say integer left, we want to define where we want to draw this on the screen. It should be the width of the window minus cell size. And since we have three cells, I'm going to say times three multiplied by three and divided by two because we want to, you know, we want to exactly figure out where to center this. This is an integer division, by the way. So now next is we want to figure out the top, which is a similar thing. We say height minus cell size times three divided by two. Okay, now we got the left top. The bottom right are easier, actually. Right equals, we can say left plus cell size times three. Right. And then we say button the bottom equals top plus cell size times three okay now all we have to do is to come here and say draw me this rectangle at left top and then right button okay now control f5 again to build and run Okay, so now that we have our game board nicely centered inside the window, and as you can see, when we resize the window, it always gets centered. This is good. However, there's a case where if we minimize the window too much, the user or the player can basically make the window too small that the board is no longer uh, visible. So how can we prevent the player from doing this? Well, there's there's a, a Windows message called uh, WM get minimax info where Windows will send you that message to ask you for your window what is the minimum allowed size and what is the maximum allowed size. So you can actually restrict the user from going below the size of your board. So we what I want to do is also leave some padding around so that uh, in the next videos we want to see how we can add some text around here and some text here so i would think that we want to also leave some padding so let's see how we can do that close the app go back to the code here and now let's add a new message uh, a case for handling the window message get mini max info and this message actually uh, if you if you anytime you're not sure about like a message what kind of uh, how to handle it just uh, hit f1 to open up uh, msdn on on that uh, to get some more details so the get minimax info here you can see that what i really care about is the parameters wm param is not used the L param, however, is a pointer to a structure called minimax info. And if we want to see what's inside that, uh, it's a structure that has the minimum tracking size, maximum tracking size in point, which mean it means it has an X and Y, but that X and Y actually is nothing but the width and height. So, so there's one for the maximum size, one for the minimum size, and one for position. What we care about is really the minimum size and nothing else. So let's copy the name of this structure and then go back to Visual Studio. All right, here Visual Studio. I'm gonna say, I need to define a minimax info pointer p minmax equals we need to typecast the L param, so this is going to be a minimax info pointer L param. Okay, so now what we do is say minmax minimum tracking size dot x. This is going to be our cell size times. If I say times three, that's going to make the window just barely enough to show the board. Like I said, we want to add some padding, so. I would recommend a minimum of times five. And now you can see here the red squiggly line. This is because you remember that we defined our cell size as a local variable here. 
and I think we want to instead of having to redefine it again twice I'd rather have this be visible for both cases so let's take this from here and move it outside our window proc so there's two places where we can place it the one place is going to be here and this is where we have uh, global variables for our game or we can go all the way up to the beginning of the file where where we have all the other global variables but just for simplicity because we want to go back and forth a lot between this section and our code i prefer to have it here a third option would be actually to define everything here static right static blah inside my window proc that also works but i just tend to want to do it here for now and then in the future i want to show you a better way using c++ classes in future videos how to handle this anyways back to our minimax so now it's it's global let's uh, we took it out of here now this weekly line is gone we said the maximum width is this let's do the same for our height in here so this should be it and now control f5 to compile and run again and test this okay so let's do this all right see now i cannot resize it any smaller than this which is exactly what i want i did not put any restriction on the maximum size but however minimum size is this is our minimum size which is perfect okay this is great so now uh, the next thing we want to do is we want to see how we can add some some logic to actually slice the board into three by three uh, matrix so that we have uh, uh, a nine grid or like uh, three cells three columns three rows etc so that we can place our uh, player uh, game uh, stones or whatever inside the board so that's it for now we'll continue that in the next video thanks for watching Please leave a comment or share with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel or like us on Facebook. See you in the next video.